Thumbs up. Beer number two. Beer number two. And uh, another beer courtesy of Thomas. Check out his channel. He is great. He does he does do English reviews sometimes, but uh, YouTube has a pretty good subtitle filter. Where, where sometimes it doesn't. So, but. He said some pretty funny things. Well, he hasn't said them, but YouTube said that he said them. And I just imagine that that he did. <laughs> Um, but yeah, definitely check out definitely check out his English reviews, and, and if you have time to like just stare at it, definitely check out the ones with the sub because he definitely he does some pretty awesome beers. Like this, just like watching be, like those those beer reviews from like beers that, that we can't get. Everyone's like, oh, American is the best beer. It's like, no, I want to try those beers. Oh yeah, those beers look awesome. <laughs> and we get two. We do. <laughs> so this is courtesy of Thomas. Like I said, this is uh, Bax Beer Brewery. It says seriously playful. Um, name of the beer is four fifteen. I would assume. Sure. It says uh, 415, uses London 3 yeast. I'm pretty sure London 3 is any top rate yeast or alchemist's house yeast, isn't it? I'm not sure. So this is time to hop on the bandwagon, a brand new series of big fat IPAs that couldn't start with 001 because, well, we're not the first to jump on the, uh, jump on the hype train to haste town. <laughs> 415 is loaded with Galaxy, Enigma, and Belma Hops with big notes of yellow fruit, citrus, and white grapes, dankness, and smooth, lingering bitterness. And Thomas, it's 39 degrees out right now. Keep that in mind here. It's way better than it was when it was 26 when we did the mystery beer. That's true. And it just seems so much colder. Well, you, was... you took your jacket off, and then I did too. Well, I mean, it's not warm. It's just that, God, I, I'm sitting there all bolted. I want to drink beer, not a, not the clown around. This beer looks beautiful. We got our nerd sense glasses. I mean, that's pretty. Yeah. This looks more like a traditional New England IPA. Yep. Um, I mean, it's really hazy. It got really just like a golden yellow orange and a really just beautiful, soft, supple head. Yeah, that's actually the best way to put it. Like, it's like the super compact bubbles, but it's just like it just looks soft and just like you could spoon it. Like, yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like almost like a meringue. Yeah, meringue. That's the best way. To, yeah, there you go. Good nose. Yeah, definitely. Did so. I, you know, sort of like the last one. This reminds me of stuff I would have had five years ago. Yeah. That's not saying that the Netherlands are really behind on what they're doing with the Hayes Hayes game, but no, it means that they're doing it right. Yeah. Um. Now this has um, this has some familiar hops, but it has one that we're not that familiar with, which is Belma. Yeah. Now I, I did I did Google it uh, already and it's uh, a hop from the Pacific Northwest. It seems like it, it would go uh, it's like berries, strawberry kind of melon, stone fruit, citrus. So um, I'm gonna be looking for those here. Yeah. Melon is like the first time you do. Yeah. Yep. There's like cantaloupe, honeydew. Yep. Yeah, and this has galaxy, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not quite getting galaxy here though. No. But, but given the last two years, the galaxy crop seems to like Can change. Like it's it's been a different type of galaxy. I'm not really getting enigma. Enigma usually gives you that like super bitter punch. Yeah, it, it, that sort of weird tanginess. And you get in the nose, yeah. yeah. Um, this does remind me a little bit of mosaic though. Yeah, I can definitely see that. You know, it has that like crackery maltness that sometimes I used to, I used to get from 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 old mosaic, but there's no mosaic in this. But yeah, right, this smells really good, man. It's good. <laughs> you already got on your mustache. Happy. <laughs> right, cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Thomas. Wow. I get the enigma there. That mouthfeel. Very soft. Very soft. Like clouds. Yeah. Holy crap. But the enigma, the enigma on the taste, big time. That's Kyle would hate this beer. <laughs> it's sharp. It gets the bitterness. Um, it has that weird sort of like. I, I, I don't know how, I never had, know how to describe Enigma because it has a weird like I would say tang that's the right word I say for it. I say resiny galaxy this yeah there's something to it it's like a tang weird... tang and resin you get you get some tang from like resin this I guess I, I know that's not the right word it just it comes off it, there's something it, there's no hop that is anything like Enigma no and and I can understand why somebody wouldn't like Enigma oh yeah I like it but but if someone doesn't like it, I go oh yeah I totally get it like yeah. just like with like cilantro and stuff like that and certain other things like you're like oh I get why you don't like that I don't. You, you, you either like cilantro or you're wrong. But people say it tastes like soap. Yeah, they lie. Maybe maybe nope. Enigma tastes like soap. Nope. You should ask lie. Kyle if you like cilantro. Fair enough. So Kyle, you like cilantro? Down the comments. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it has a nice bitter punch. It has um, 
some nice fruitiness, but without being overwhelmingly sweet. Yeah. It's very yeast driven too. Oh, it is. Yeah. There's loads of like that, like uh, tropical fruit yeastiness on, on, on the back end where it's not yet, it's not 100% getting to like bubble gummy fruit, but it's, it feels like it's, 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 it's like on the road there. Yeah, it does have that yeasty kind of a deal, yeah. like almost belgian in a weird way. It, it doesn't taste belgian but that sort of fruity esters you get from mm. Belgian yeast, you, you sort of get those here. It's almost got a spiciness. I think I, I think that's also the, the Enigma in a weird way. Enigma is a weird hop. I'm seeing if there's any other... There's, there's no rye or anything. No. Uh, malted oats, though, uh, oat flakes, and carapace. Where he was here, you can tell what that is. Yeah, I know what that is. I mean, this is really good. No, it, it's it's really yeah. This is uh, in this in this beer is probably came in November. About four it, months old. Four, four months, months old. Yeah. Four or five months old, and it, it's it's drinking like ridiculous. Yeah. It, and it was shipped from the Netherlands to the United States. Who knows what type of hot cold transfers it went through? And this beer is this beer is amazing. It's awesome. I mean, this the thing is, I, I feel like uh, there is a couple breweries that are sort of doing interesting things with the IPAs, but. I feel like it's just a lot of the same things, and sometimes I kind of like this. Is, no, I agree. This is what I'm looking for sometimes, you know. But it's also because we haven't had it in a while because they've kind of like they're like, oh, let's just get as as juice as possible to yeah. like, pretend it's not beer. But this is still like this, and the last one we had, like this is still like you're drinking beer. Yeah, it's really good. Well, yeah, Thomas, dude, thank you for for sending this. Let us know in the comments if anyone's had Bax Beer Brewings. 415 there, Enigma, Belma, and Galaxy Hopped um, Double IPA, 7.2%. Uh, 7.2% is considered an IPA or double IPA. I guess it depends who you talk to. But, uh, oh no, New England style double IPA. The Canucks. The Canucks, freaking. Awesome. I'll put it in the comments too, but. And then that's what the mirror you know, looks like. But yeah, Thomas, dude, thank you so much for sending this again and then uh, nerdsense.net Instagram, Facebook, Twitter if those are your things I'll link to Thomas somewhere around here and in the description down below and um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe hit those notification bells I'm Sean that's um, my yeah. quick question yeah what I did wrong no 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 no, no. <laughs> you did nothing wrong a New England style IPA made in the Netherlands yeah I get that but like do you think like most people in the Netherlands that know what a New England IPA is know what New England is you know what I mean? Like, point. You know? That's a valid point. Like, when you say West Coast IPA, you're like, oh, it's American West Coast. Okay, I get that. Yeah. You can look at America like, I presume that it's there. But do Europeans know what New England is? I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. I do assume that we in America do dumb shit and they just ignore us. Well, considering that they have American-flavored Doritos, which are a cool ranch, yeah, we're, we, do, we do some dumb shit. <laughs> Yeah, that's a very valid point, though. Uh, yeah, down in the comments, if you're from the Netherlands watching this video, if, if you if you if you found us through through Thomas and the rest of the um, without googling Dutch Beer Collective, <laughs> do you know what a New England IPA like? Do you get what a New England IPA is and why it's called a New England IPA? Like, that's an interesting question. I'm just curious. Yeah, I because I, I really do just assume that they think that we're just imbeciles over here, which is not exactly untrue. And uh, I don't know. I, I I really like the thing is like the old school sort of like those old school beers those ones that we love like like, like stuff from like um, Juan Estefan or mm -hmm. like West Valerian mm -hmm. all, like do they look at our beer and like that's shit yeah. because yes. they have yes they probably do <laughs> right so like when they say New England IPA are they just like that's some American bullshit like do they, do they know that New England is like an area of America or are they just oh uh, I see what you're saying now I see what you're saying are like, they thinking like, that this is just a, no I, I have you have to imagine that that they know it's an Amer it was started in America. It's an American thing. No, I understand, but like, if someone brought up with something regional area of the Netherlands, girl, I don't fucking know what that is. Yeah, that's a valid like, would they know? Hey, it's like, hey, chances are they have better geography than we do. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> yeah, that's valid. That's Sorry, that was that was a long tangent. I'm just no, curious. No, that's a good point. But yeah, down in the comments, we definitely want to know this. This 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 could also be a topic for for a live stream because are there like pockets in different countries where they have certain beer styles that you don't see anywhere else? Or you're not sure where they started from, maybe. But yeah, down in the comments, do you want to see live streams like that? We can do ones with Thomas and the rest of the Dutch Dutch, Dutch beer collective and anyone else from around there. Um, but yeah, and like Douglas. I said, Douglas. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna do a collab view with Douglas, Matt from Massive Beers, Thomas. Uh, at some point, we gotta figure out the logistics of doing internet stuff out here without it being really really crappy. But uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. So be on the lookout for those. And again, Thomas, dude, thank you so much. <laughs> Um, and like I said, I'm Sean, that's Mike, 
And this is Nerd Sense. Cheers. Cheers.